Now, there's rather a gloomy outlook in store for several hundred of the amateur meteorologists in England and Wales who help collect rainfall data for the Met Office. These weather watchers, as they're called, have been told by the men at the Met that their services are no longer required. The Met Office doesn't have enough staff to process their findings. Well, the first weathermen affected are in Wales and the West. Others will follow, though, and Linda Lewis has been to Hertfordshire to see whether the prospect has dampened their enthusiasm. This is weather station Royston 08182578, as it's officially known. Every morning, come rain or shine, Richard Barker is out at 7.30 sharp, taking the overnight temperature readings with a repeat performance at 9 at night. Next, he takes the grass temperature. Then, he checks his rain gauge. This morning's reading shows the overnight rainfall to be a mere 0.2 of a millimetre. Hardly worth recording, you might think, but it's a vital statistic. He got hooked on weather watching as a schoolboy, and he's been doing it ever since. At least in his job as a VAT man, he's familiar with figures. So how does he and the rest of the army of amateur weather watchers feel about the prospect of being given their cards by the Met Office? Well, I think naturally a lot of us are going to be a little disappointed after having recorded for a number of years and sent in data to the Met Office. And I think here at Royston, although I've only been here for 12 years taking rainfall readings, there has been a continuous rainfall record in Royston since 1853. So it, it has now become a very important record. It's a real labour of love doing what you do, isn't it? You don't get paid for it. No, it's entirely voluntary and it does take quite a bit of time. Um, Why do you do it then? It's mainly for my own interest, but it has developed into something a little more than that in that I supply data to quite a number of organisations, journals, publications, newspapers, etc. Who would want this sort of information? Uh, well, a number of people, such as, say, one typical example is the local water authority, who need um, rainfall details to estimate river flow, etc. Um, the newspapers are always interested in um, rainfall readings and other weather. So do things like satellites and other wonders of modern technology mean that now the Met Office has just got no use for people like you anymore? Uh, I think there is no substitute for obtaining rainfall readings for the observer with his rain gauge. Well, the obvious person to talk about that is Francis. He's sitting over there. Do you, you use we these weather watchers, I suppose, because they come through the Met Office, don't they? Indirectly, yes. Mm. I mean, ground truth is very important. You must know what's happening beneath the stuff that we can see from satellite. Um, so that's going to be sad that they're not there. You've been encouraged. They are enthusiasts. They're not... Uh, professionals and I would imagine that they do it more for interest than money. Because you've been encouraging young weather watchers over the last few months haven't you to get going and uh, now yeah. of course no job for them. Well, what a shame. Right. But the, even the young ones that we use it's all on a voluntary basis I mean mm. we just phone them ad lib you know. Okay let's have some weather. Um, it's a little bit of frosty morning in some